Tonight we have only one top 25 matchup tonight in college basketball, and that is the Creighton Blue Jays sitting at number 10 in the country. Starting to look like a formidable out once that NCAA tournament comes around in March. They are looking like they are going to be a top seed, top three seed in that tournament. They are 9-0 and right now with their last win by 15 points at Nebraska, their in-state rival, which they owned from wire to wire. It was one of those just magical Creighton games where everything that they put up went down. They will be going against Longwood tonight. That is two and four. Their last time that Longwood was out, they lost by 12 points at home to JMU, James Madison University. Let's see if Longwood can slow down those Creighton Blue Jays tonight because Creighton is playing together and they are playing like a well-oiled machine. And I just don't know if Longwood has enough firepower to keep up with the Creighton Blue Jays. There is only one top 25 matchup tonight, so we will be diving into a couple games that are very intriguing in the NBA tonight. One being the Miami. Miami Heat that are going to Cleveland to face LeBron James and those Cavs. LeBron James is averaging nearly a triple-double at 23.9 points per game, 7.6 rebounds a game, and over 9 assists a game. But they will be going up against a formidable opponent in Hassan Whiteside, who's averaging a double-double himself at 7.6 points per game and 14.7 rebounds a game. But Hassan Whiteside is not getting much help tonight, as y'all know. The Miami Heat have been banged up this month. They are just injury written right now. They have, I believe, five injuries out of players that are getting some solid points for them. I just don't know if Miami's going to be able to keep up with LeBron James and how fly they can really be in Cleveland because they are just putting opponents away. The last time that LeBron James and his Cavs were out, they went into the Garden in New York, even without Derrick Rose. The Knicks, they just they didn't stand a chance. They had an impressive 32-point win, those Cleveland Cavs did. It seems like the Heat are just on a skid. They've lost three in a row. The injuries are really starting to creep up at them, and it's just not looking like they have enough firepower to keep up with these Cavs, especially in Cleveland. Another game that is really intriguing tonight in the NBA is that the Toronto Raptors are going to be facing those Cs. That means the Boston Celtics in that TD Garden in Boston. It should be a good game. The predictors in Vegas are thinking it's going to be a close one. I believe it's going to be a close one. I think both teams are very good opponents, and they should be able to be running into each other in come playoff time. I'm not sure who's going to win this one. you got DeMar DeRozan, who's playing some of the best basketball that he's played. You have Kyle Lowry that's starting to get his numbers up and starting to be the all-star that we know that he can be. Meanwhile, on the other side, you have the Celtics that are just coming together as a team. Isaiah Thomas at the helm being the point guard that's just running the show. The Seas are coming off an impressive 30-point win in Orlando a couple nights ago. I mean, that's just that's not numbers that you normally put up on the road, and they just annihilated those Magic in their own home court. It was something special to watch if you're a Celtics fan. But the Celtics are still two games behind the Raptors in the Atlantic Conference, so we will have to see if they can pull a game closer and pull one off against the Raptors at home. The Raptors are coming off a big win last night, honoring those Huskies that they used to be back in 45 when Toronto was the Huskies, and they wore those blue jerseys last night, and they had a very, very impressive win. They actually have won seven out of the past eight matchups that they've won against, the lone loss being to those Cleveland Cavaliers when they lost by four in Toronto a few nights ago. It should be a good one. You have the Celtics that are fresh off a very, very impressive win in Orlando versus a Toronto Raptors team who has the edge with talent wise however they are coming off a back-to-back -back, so they may be a little bit sluggish it's going to be some good matchups tonight in the nba it's going to be one one interesting matchup that i've seen in the top 25 in college basketball tonight so we'll get back to you tomorrow and we'll find out how these teams did you guys have a good night